Remember Hogsmeade, the wizarding village where jolly Hogwarts students visit shops and drink butterbeer? Let's make that place dark! Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Cherry and I will reveal new details, quests, and everything we know about Hogwarts legacy. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! Hogsmeade Village is older than Hogwarts Castle and is filled with mysteries and secrets. Players get to go on an eerie mystery adventure exclusive to PS4 and PS5 versions of Hogwarts Legacy. In this haunted Hogsmeade shop quest, Madame Mason is selling you her shop. She is keen on not just selling the shop to anyone, but you. It is very questionable why she is so eager to give her shop away. It's like selling a house to an unsuspecting family due to many deaths. However, she seemed to have no choice with the previous unlucky tenant. It is up to you to investigate this rundown establishment and go through trials to escape the darkness of the shop. Those who came before you just could not seem to escape the darkness, will you? The new trailer shows our protagonist being chased by mannequins, spiders, and going through all haunted scenarios. If you complete this haunted Hogsmeade shop quest, this shop will be your own in Hogsmeade to sell items and gear at rates better than anywhere else in the game. You'll get an exclusive shopkeeper's cosmetic set too. We'll become a wizard hustling in our fifth year with our business and our magic. The haunted Hogsmeade shop will allow us players to produce money to progress our character. Xbox and PC players are not forgotten, but you will have to wait until February 10th, 2024 to gain access to the Haunted Hogsmeade quest. Players also have their own dungeon with exclusive drops if they have PlayStation. If you pre-order any PS4 or PS5 versions of Hogwarts Legacy, you'll gain access to Felix Felicis, known in Harry Potter as Liquid Luck. Drinking this potion will make your character fortunate and lucky for a period of time. One sip. For one game day, this potion will reveal gear chests on the minimap. A number of players find this potion pointless as they do not need help finding the chests. So liquid luck is as useful as a Resident Evil 7 supplement. You consume it when you want to clear a room 100%, but almost never use it. Going to potions class and obtaining resources will produce this liquid luck in your room of requirement. There is also additional new information on the game. Hogwarts Legacy has no quidditch, but players can fly on brooms and participate in room race challenges. It is very disappointing, but in the calm words of Albus Dumbledore, Silence! this open world action RPG will be on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, Switch, and PC. Chandler Wood was hyping everyone up, myself included, on Twitter with this announcement on more upcoming gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy soon. There is so much excitement for the game, although it appears Hogwarts Legacy is following the trends of many other games, delaying the release date. We can expect to begin our year at Hogwarts on February 10th, 2023 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Nintendo has the middle child treatment, but with patience, the game will be there as well. The Hogwarts Legacy FAQ continues to uncover interesting details about the game. Players can link their Harry Potter fan club account with their W Games account to import their house and wants into Hogwarts Legacy. Linking accounts will unlock a beak skull mask and exclusive house robes in the game so that players can represent their Hogwarts house in style. This game does not have a morality system, but players will encounter various quests and storylines that influence the witch and wizard they choose to become. An example that applies to the morality system is close relationships with companions. Avalanche features an optional quest with Sebastian Salo, a Slytherin student. He and the player trot through the Forbidden Forest to the ruins to learn more about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts. They pass a tree covered in skull symbols with wands in a crossing motion like the Jolly Roger. This could be the symbol of the poachers, dark wizards, and the possible fate of our characters. Sebastian's father forbids the use of unforgivable curses, but Sebastian feels it is necessary to save his father. Our protagonist is then being dragged into a scenario to make an important choice. Should they learn the Crucio curse and cast it on Sebastian? Should they not learn the curse? Or should they allow Sebastian to cast the curse on them? This choice will determine what you the player stands for. I can teach you Crucio or I can cast it on you. I'm ready. Crucio! 
Although this quest is optional, who wouldn't miss a chance to see a skeleton staircase, discover hidden doors, and fight off skeletons as well as other creatures? A game that heavily depends on choices makes a powerful game. There's also more fun in this game beyond choices from exploring castles, challenging puzzles, riding magical beasts, upgrading magical gear, and mixing and matching spells in Hogwarts Legacy to become the ultimate duelist. Common rooms were also displayed in great detail. Gryffindor's common room reminds me of a towering castle with knights and warriors. Ravenclaw's common room makes me think of an observatory for intellectuals and creative minds. Hufflepuff's common room reminds me of a warm and welcoming home from the Hobbit movie. Slytherin's common room is a looming, elegant cavern under the lake, lighting up the room with a green tinge. It is so elegant with an antique design. Its corridors are dark, but you feel safe in a way. The snake doorway and the rope designs also look so cool. Ah, feels like home. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment what you think about the game. Even though this game was delayed, I feel like this will be one of the biggest games ever. Out of curiosity, which Hogwarts house would you choose and why? Thank you for watching, and that's all.